Today on Hardtail Party, we're reviewing this incredibly unique Celilo prototype carbon and wood bike. If you haven't already seen it, you need to go check out the first look where we talk about this bike and how it's made. A lot of you are gonna have incorrect assumptions, so before commenting, go watch that video. We already know this is a beautiful bike with some really unique aspects to it and a really innovative uh, design process and creation process. But if it doesn't ride well, it doesn't really matter. And we're here to test out how this thing rides. And so I'm not gonna treat it special. I'm not gonna hold back. I'm just gonna ride it like I do all the other hardtails that I review and see how it fares as a regular mountain bike. So I've had this on a handful of rides now. This is my custom geometry, which is pretty awesome. You know, normally I expect kind of one-off unique builders like this to have pretty dated geo. But for this build, for this prototype, we stuck my custom geometry on it to see how it does. I really like this geo. Very similar to my Maniac, but not as slack. Got an even shorter chain stay than my Maniac. I think it's a 66 degree head angle we got on here. I just want it to be a good little trail bike. Maybe not intended for black diamonds all the time, but more meant for green and blues and it does really well with this Geo, so. Not too many comments on the Geo since I know what I like. And this one's custom for me. Rides really great. My Maniac's more composed on big double black diamond features. But not all hardtails need to be good at that stuff. <clears throat> Climbs really well. This frame's lighter than most aluminum frames. Heavier than most carbon frames. It's about in line with a really nice, super light steel frame. It is not harsh like an aluminum frame, no. Super unique bike. If you ride one of these, you will be stopped all the time. People want to talk about it and ask about it, which I like. But if you're antisocial, this is not the frame for you because people are really intrigued by it. It just rides like a mountain bike. I'm not really thinking about the fact that it has carbon and wood organic materials making it up. Pretty stiff under acceleration. Reminds me a lot of my spot rocker. It's not noodly or flexy in the slightest. Reminds me a lot of the Yeti arc with the ride feel and how it accelerates. Great technical climber. Balance feels normal, like a regular hardtail. Real easy to put where I want it. Scott at Celilo told me to ride this like a mountain bike and not take it easy. Not to baby it, it's meant to be ridden. And that's what I'm doing. Let me try and describe how this bike rides. It rides more similar than dissimilar to all the bikes I ride, which I think is a good thing. It's, it's got like, Kind of a snappy acceleration like a nice carbon bike that's got to be due to the carbon layup inside the wood but it's not stiff <clears throat> good morning just me it's stiff accelerating but it's not a harsh ride that beats you up 
I feel like the ride's a little bit more like a steel bike than any other flavor. Kind of feels like how when you ride Kushkor, the ride's slightly more damp. It's a little bit more damp, but it's not like gonna blow you away and make you think it's a soft tail or a full suspension. It's not, but it's got a good ride feel. Feels sporty when you put power down. Doesn't flex in the corners, but it doesn't transfer a lot of vibrations to you. And I think that's to the wood. Oh, it's fun to ride. We got room for 2.6s on here, 29 by 26. I'm running a 175 dropper, which is wonderful. Really great balanced geo. This bike's just a joy to ride. I think it'd be a lot of fun as a bike packer, and I'd trust it. I think a lot of gravel riders are gonna like these with that little bit softer ride feel and totally unique look. As long as you're not a weight weenie counting every single ounce and trying to get the absolute lightest race build on the planet. I think this appeals to a different market that wants a handcrafted, super unique ride. Every single frame is unique, no two are alike. And I like that, I think that's cool. Yeah, it just rides like a good mountain bike. Sometimes when there's nothing to say, that's the best thing you could say, especially about a new company and a prototype. I'm not taking it easy. I don't hear any weird noises. Hello. It's okay if I ride by? Great, thanks. It's just me, I'm alone. Have a good day. No weird noises, no cracking sounds. Had this off a few three foot drops. It feels surprisingly good. Yeah, there's no high frequency vibration like you get on a stiff carbon bike or aluminum bike. I like it. Reminds me a lot of the feel of that Yeti Arc. I had a lot of the same misconceptions that most people do when you see these. I thought, oh, that can't seriously be ridden hard or it looks pretty, but I'd never want to actually ride it. Oh, I'd totally ride one of these if I had one. A couple things on the prototype that I would recommend get addressed. I've got a lot of heel rub on the chain stays. They flare out for artistic reasons and a little bit of stiffness, but they rub the heels. I'll show you that at the end. I feel like fit and finish needs to be a little bit better. I'll talk about that more. But this is a prototype. And we just wanted to get this out the door so we could get some seat time on it and see what it's like. Surprisingly sporty ride. When you put that power down, it goes. Yeah, it's definitely one of the more damped feeling hardtails out there. It's still not new house hummingbird smooth, but nothing is. That's the smoothest most supple hardtail I've ever ridden. But this is up there with the smoothest carbon frames I've ever ridden. And what a unique look. I love that. So different. I'd be happy all day riding on this thing, bike packing or doing a 50 mile epic. Riding position's great. He's done a really good job keeping those chain stays snappy under power delivery. And by snappy, I mean when you put power down, it translates into forward motion. And that's why we love hardtails. These good hardtails, there's no lag. We just put down power and accelerate forward in a way that you can't on a full suspension. And this has that in spades. And now one thing I can't speak to on the, any bike is durability. Cause I'm on a different hardtail every week reviewing a different bike but I've seen no reasons to doubt its durability. If you're hucking 20 foot road gaps, I think they're better options. Let's try this technical climb. This is a really tough one with a couple of ledges in the middle of it. Really loose, hard to keep going.
All right, here's another big push. This one's tough, let's see if I got it. This thing isn't just a technical climbing monster. It's a great all-rounder trail bike. Oh, so playful and fun to ride. What a bike. This thing's a joy. It's a little tractor. Love the big tire clearance. Amazing what Scott's been able to do to keep it modern feeling. Amazing that it'll hang with some of my favorite frames. Well done, Salilo. What a cool, unique bike. I do not feel like I need to hold back in the slightest on this thing. <laughs> Bottoming out my fork, frame's totally up for it. So if you're hucking 20 foot gap jumps, this probably isn't the right frame for you. But the occasional two or three foot drop or small smooth gap jump, I'd have no problem taking it on that. What a cool bike. Despite being totally different in its construction technique, it still rides like a mountain bike and a great hardtail at that. It's got a really nice frame feel. There's no chatter. There's no uh, overly stiff feelings. It feels more supple than almost every aluminum frame I've ever ridden. More supple than a lot of steel frames and maybe supple's the wrong word. I don't know that I feel it flexing as much as some steel frames but it's, it feels like where a bike would normally be chattery and have some vibration on it. I almost feel like it's got that vibrocore feel to it where the wood kind of mutes those high frequency vibrations. It's got a really nice ride feel. It's got some good stiffness when you put down the power. Got that nice big bottom bracket shell area. There's just some really cool things going on. Over here, you can see my heel rub starting to you can see the black marks where my heel rubbed that and this chain stays pretty wide right there and i get a little bit of heel rub up in the seat stay as well so i would want that narrower for me good chain ring clearance really really unique looking bike i love the wood grain i love seeing the puzzle pieces how we put these all together so if you remember in the first look video you don't get a big chunk of wood the size of a frame and then carve it all out. That's too expensive and too hard to find wood that big. So you get little two foot sections and he puzzle pieces them and glues them together and then shapes them to fit the bike frame. Now this is a prototype and Scott really likes the hand finished feel where these lines aren't perfectly straight and it's kind of got some wave to it. I would rather see these look like a robot cut them out personally. I think it would just give it a little bit more precision look so it looks less hand-built and more consistent from model to model. There's some small things like the filler in this carbon here that's being used. It just doesn't quite have the fit and finish that I'm expecting on the production models. But this was a prototype and the idea was to get this out ASAP to me so I could get some ride time on it. I think it's such a beautiful marriage of carbon and wood and old school technique with new school technique. I think just the fit and finish needs to be stepped up a little bit. And I think that will come with more time as he perfects his craft. It's really cool to see people envision a new way of doing something that's been done for hundreds of years. And this is a totally new construction technique where he takes the two halves, CNC's them, hollows them out, lays up the carbon inside, gets it really stiff and then glues the halves together so he can balance that organic look and feel of wood with the high-tech, high-performance benefits of carbon. If you guys need help picking my brain about which hardtail to get or even full suspension to get, I have a bike consultation service over on Patreon. I'd be happy to work with you one-on-one, -on -one, talk about your needs in your next bike, and make some recommendations that are custom-tailored to you. It's been such a treat to test ride this, and. I'm extremely surprised and pleasantly surprised that despite it being such a unique uh, craftsmanship technique and a different way of building bikes, 
it still rides like a great bike. There's no giant compromise. It's like, yeah, it looks nice, but it doesn't ride well. Not at all. It looks great and it rides great as well. And it's been an honor to be able to show this to you guys. If you guys are interested in Salilo and what he's doing and what he's doing with his students at his college and want to learn more about what he's got in the pipeline, I've got a link to it in the description below. Thanks for watching everybody. There's a party in the mountains and you're invited.